This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. Hello and welcome to India Small Giants, where we take you on the exciting, successful journeys of emerging enterprises from all across India. This week, we have a very diverse set of sectors that we cover from all across Indian industry. Our first giant happens to be SKP Bearing Industries, who were founded in 1993. They supply all kinds of industrial rollers to industry all across India. Let's take a look. SKP Bearing Industries is a manufacturer of needle rollers, cylindrical rollers and various type of pins. Needle rollers are highly precision components. They are used primarily for automotive applications, textile applications and engineering applications. SKP Bearing Industries started production in March 1993 in a small setup. We were manufacturing very small sizes and quantities at that time. Over a period of time, in past 22 years, we have grown to a much larger setup when manufacturing wide range from 1 mm till 30 mm in diameter and 4 mm in length till 100 mm in length. Innovation and continual improvement is the core strength of SKP bearing industries. We develop our products and processes over a period of time and on routine basis, which is given SKP rolling elements a high edge over our competitors. SKP bearings strong growth is driven by the teamwork from bottom of the company to the top management which is resulting in right product at the right time at customer end. We started with two persons and today we are having almost 80 to 100 employees working for us and we have groomed them, trained them and molded them as I told you as per the requirement of uh, our uh, organization and uh, this has uh, given them a sense of belongingness towards the company. SKP Bearing Industries became an ISO 9001 company in 2000. We were for five years ISO 9001 company and in 2006, we became a TS16949 company. We achieved TS169 when there were hardly very few companies in Gujarat having that certification. We also are supplying products which are qualifying to Dean standards and meeting all international standards. These are very great achievements which we got at initial stages. My message to young entrepreneur is very simple and straightforward. If one has to become successful, he has to work very hard. There is no shortcut to the success. There are various steps which he has to take to achieve success. One of the steps is hard working. One of the steps is teamwork. And one of the steps is dedication to the work. Any steps missing, he would fall into a loophole which will result into a disaster failure. So to become a successful, he has to work hard. Our future plans are to expand our capacities as per customer requirement to include and to put up quality setups to meet all our customer demands and we would like to venture into a backward integration so that we start manufacturing our own raw material and we can become an independent company from raw material till finished product catering to customer requirements. Our USP is to become most consistent, trusted and preferred supplier to be best among the best and to give high quality product as per customer requirement and to meet all customer needs and to have customer satisfaction. Let's move to the next India small giant, Leisha Impex, also known as the Cotton Guru. With the fourth generation in the cotton business, Leisha Impex's journey began in 1903 when Sri Narsi Natha started grading cotton for the Britishers. 
Leisha Impex has the distinction of being the first company to achieve ISO 9001-2000 certification for cotton valuation. PRD Cotton Group comprises of grading, testing, valuation and trading firm. Our trading firm is called Leisha Impex Private Limited. This firm was initiated in 2007. Leisha Impex Private Limited trades and exports raw cotton. Starting with our company, our company is PRD Cotton Group of Companies, which is in cotton since 1903, that is a span of 110 years. I am the fourth generation in this company. The two things that they have taught me through this generation is the importance of morals and values. No company can survive over 100 years unless it is actually trustworthy and transparent. The hard work and commitment shown by Manish Daga for the cotton industry has earned him respect and garnered him the reputation and recognition as the cotton guru. I was training cotton farmer in 2007 in an area which was prone to suicides. And that farmer, after the training, was so enthusiastic about his produce that he told me, Aap to kapas ke guru hai. So that is where people started relating me to the word cotton guru, which we have applied for registration. It's already a trademark with the company. The core purpose and mission of cotton guru or the PRD cotton group of companies is to assist farmers to grow more cotton, that is to increase the production and quality of cotton, to help cotton users identify good sources of cotton at nominal prices and to promote the concept of renewable resource of cotton where it can replace plastic and paper and thus we can somehow help the environment cause. My clients are assured wherever they work with the PRD cotton group of companies, if the company has committed it will be done or the company would call and say it is not done because only losers give reasons, winners always give results. It is not that we succeed all the time, but whatever the commitment, we have to come back. We have to stand, we have to face. So that is what I learned over the years. I have been trying to implement that in my business, in every aspect of business. Be innovative, be with the change, be the best. Excellence is what we strive for, not perfection, because perfection brings frustration. But striving for excellence always you know, puts that of growth inside you. You have to grow, you have to grow all the time. Cotton Guru's mission remains a steadfast commitment to assist the cotton farmer and the industry to improve yield and quality. We have taken up a project with the National Skill Development Council of the Central Government of India to train 50,000 cotton farmers in the next 10 years so that they become independent, so that we can add value to their cotton and we can enhance their lifestyles. To the businessmen around me, I would only say that have a cause, have a purpose, have a passion. If you love your business, there is nothing that can stop you. But be meticulous because thinking is half the job done. Execution is the second half. Whatever you think, implement. Whatever you implement, analyze. Whatever you analyze, go back and do it again. I think that is the reason for our success. Our next small giant is a financial consultant who started from next to nothing and has gone on to very big things indeed. Tejas Consultancy. Tejas Consultancy has had a remarkable and inspirational journey. This financial consultancy was established in 1980 by Mr. Deepak Seth. Faced with hardship early in life, it was his dedication, hard work and honesty that turned the fortunes for Deepak Seth. अगर मैं जाके कोई धंधा भी करूं तो उसके लिए पैसा लगता था लागत लगती थी वो कहां से लाए जब ये जो इन्वेस्टमेंट देखा उसमें हमारे घर से एक भी रुपया नहीं जाता था मेहनत करने का और कमीशन कम देते थे गवर्नमेंट उसके जरिए से कोई पैसे की लागत न होने की वजह से हम इसको आगे बढ़ाते थे 1980 में मेरे पास गिन के 26 क्लाइंट थे 1990 में 1200 क्लाइंट किए आज मेरे पास 5000 प्लस क्लाइंट हैं शुरू से लेके आज तक 
किसी से भी मैंने कंसल्टिंग चार्जेस लिया नहीं है लोगों का पैसा जब उसको वापस मिलता है ग्रोथ होके और वो लोग को जो खुशी होती है तो हमें बहुत अच्छा लगता है With a wide range of investment and insurance products, Tejas Consultancy helped a lot of small businesses and families in their financial planning. In my childhood, I used to see my father and mother both are working hard, and they were working like anything for our growth and our family's growth. That time, we and me and my brother decided to join my dad, and we joined him. and we started working with him from 1990 1992 we introduced new technologies new softwares we communicated with the client and we uh, gathered some information what client want and then we introduced one software for our client base when my family have started their business they have one my one of the first client of them that is mr kari he still with us with his family and almost everybody in the family is investing through us now that is the legacy what my family can now i want to continue with the uh, legacy of my mother and father our unity aur hamari imandari yahi hamare business ka sabse bada raaz hai कि लोग हम पे ट्रस्ट करते हैं Sometimes things won't go fast enough. Time is running out and my life is standing still. The confusion, the decision, the not knowing, the inertia it drives me crazy. Especially when someone asks me that stupid question. So what are you going to do with your life? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to chase the impossible dream. I'm going to run in a different direction. Swim against the tide because I want to do what hasn't been done. If you need a career compass, then we're charting the road map to your dreams. You wanted to know what I'm doing with my life? I'm a shooting star headed for the sun. Heads up. Monday to Friday at 6:30 p.m. on NDTV Prime. Heads up presented by LIC ka ho saath to figure ki chhodo baat. Treehouse Playgroup and Nursery. Nanne kadam badi uran. Education partner shiksha.com. Stop following, start exploring. And media partner career 360. A career is a life. Welcome back to India Small Giants where successful entrepreneurs share their stories in their own words. The next two giants on today's program are very diverse, they're innovative and they provide very different types of services. Let's see the success stories of Balaji Railroad Systems otherwise known as Barsal and Kalki Communications Technologies otherwise known as Kalki Tech. Barsil was established in 1986. They are pioneers in rail systems consultancy and an industry recognized leader with a global presence. 27 years ago, four retired railway people started a small company to provide consultancy to the existing industries and the new ones that were coming. Our basic business has so far been to deal with all railway related issues pertaining to the new industries that are to come up right from inception barcel has been a fairly innovative company by offering innovative services across uh, the railway spectrum over the period of past almost 30 years we have tried to innovate and and offer newer and newer services to our clients and and that is i think one of the reasons why we are here today Barcel has put technology as its forefront tool for achieving productivity 
as well as efficiency in the areas of planning, design and project management, which are the basic services that we offer in the rail and urban transport sector. One of the major innovations we brought in was that we always looked around for good partners to work with. Uh, normally, people tend to think partners or, or other others players in the industry are adversaries, but we took the, look the, you know, took them on as partners, and we realized that we could learn from them rather than treating them as adversaries. Because being international players, there was a lot of things we could learn. So we not only got an advantage of their expertise and experience to do projects, but we also gained from interaction with these these individuals and these companies. We've learned a lot, and even today, partnering is our major philosophy. We always bid for projects along with partners. In the type of business that Barcel is in, the employee right from CAD engineer to the technical expert is an asset and he is the one who contributes for its, this organization's success. The tools that are used are the beneficiary, are the assisting elements for the success. Our mission is to make the rail transportation industry successful. That means all our clients, all our partners and of course ourselves successful in making great rail transportation industry. We set up the Institute of Metro and Rail Technology to fill up a much needed resource gap there because going forward we feel that with the number of projects coming up there will be a massive shortage of skilled uh, managers to handle posi various positions in the railway industry and that is what we've also done. So that has been our DNA. Innovation and dynamism has always been our DNA and that's how we've been growing almost at about 20% uh, right through the past 30 years or so. Barcel is evolving as a corporate entity, moving beyond domestic into international projects. Now this requires a certain amount of careful corporate build-up in terms of brand identity. And to that effect, we are, we are looking at several possibilities of positioning the brand. Internationally, there are many metro projects are coming, especially in Middle East, Dubai, Qatar, Oman, Saudi Arabia. We earlier already worked with several other international partners in Indian projects and the projects abroad in mainline, RRTS and metro. For the future projects is coming up in Middle East, we are exploring the partners in Asia, Europe and some parts of America. The secret of our success primarily has been on two counts. Uh, one is focus, focus and focus. Uh, we've never deviated from our uh, claimed area of expertise, which is railway. We never looked at any other area. It was difficult, but then yes, that's been our uh, main area of focus and we continue to thrive on that. The other one is quality. Again, no compromise, whatever be the cost, always deliver quality. Calcutech Communication Technologies was set up by Prasanth Gopalakrishnan in 1998. Their strong team and vast experience has made them one of the world's leading players in energy protocol engineering and consultancy. After Masters in 1998, uh, I came back to India and with support from friends and family, uh, we pulled in almost a lakh of rupees and started this company. Calcitech is a control communication and computing company with, uh, primarily offering products and solutions in energy optimization and communications. The power grid is a very complex uh, interconnected system uh, right from the generation to the transmission and the distribution of power uh, up till the consumer's premises. And the, the whole idea about uh, of smart grid is to enable uh, improvement in the power quality delivery, uh, reduce the disruptions and improve the overall efficiency of the system uh, so that there is a huge benefit to the consumer as well as to the country as a whole. In 2007 we set up our Cochin R&D center, uh, we were supported by KSIDC and we built a three acre campus in Cochin uh, which currently seats around 100 R&D engineers. Kalki has started as a service company 
and moved over to the product business, products and solution business over the last couple of years. And over the years, Kalki's products have got matured and we branded, we, aimed, we built a brand in our communication products under the name Sync and our optimization product under the brand Electris. Kalki Tech has always kept its focus on R&D and product innovations, which has given it a reach into 50 countries. We won the India Power Arts Awards in 2009 for our product, Face Data Concentrator, uh, the best R&D product in India at that time. We won our first ABT project for NLC, that was the first uh, implementation of ABT in India and that was a great achievement for us. Going forward, we did win very major, major projects from Power Grid in terms of NTIMC and in internationally in Colombia for Codensa. Uh, for automating their substations and in Middle East, a 50,000 meter AMR project. At Calcitech, uh, our engineers participate very actively in the national and international standards making organizations like the uh, Bureau of Indian Standards and the um, IEC, International Electrotechnical Commission. And we actively contribute towards this uh, development of standards. And we believe that in India, our team is probably the largest team with expertise on these kinds of technologies and communication protocols under one roof. Five years from now, we will be the global leader in smart grid and energy efficiency. Towards this, we are investing in R&D and uh, technology development, which will see us achieve that goal in the years to come. We believe that we can significantly contribute to the uh, Indian uh, the problems that the Indian electricity grid is facing. Uh, improving uh, efficiency, reducing theft, and enabling uh, bringing power to each and every village at the right price and the right quality. In a short span of time, Kalki Tech has managed to build a strong partner network across the globe. Their collaborations with leading utilities, OEMs, and system integrators have helped them to provide the best products, services, and solutions. Our company's uh, secret of success is a great team that came together uh, and stayed together through hard times and good times and innovated great products. My advice to young entrepreneurs would be to uh, start companies but for the right reasons, uh, with the right customers in mind and right business case. Don't do it just for making money but with an intent to contribute to society and with deep passion about doing that. So folks, was that an inspiring time? Well, that's it from us this week on India Small Giants. If you would like to nominate a deserving company and see their story too on India Small Giants, just log on to indiasmallgiants.org. You can also SMS or call on 8080-661-661. Join us again next week for more inspiring stories of emerging enterprises in the entrepreneur's own words. India Small Giants, only on NDTV Prime, Saturday 12.30 p.m., Sunday 6.30 p.m. India Small Giants reminds you to stay on the path to success.